Recently, there was a choral concert at the Fine Arts Center. Dr. Kathleen Ruletter explains. So for tonight's concert, we have three different choirs participating. Uh, the choir from Central Campus, uh, Spring Branch, and our choir here at Stafford. And uh, each choir is uh, an interesting mix of uh, maybe community members who just want to sing for their own enjoyment and to, to keep learning, uh, mixed in with uh, music majors who have to be in an ensemble. This is part of their requirement as a music major and they're learning about all aspects of music and hopefully using choir to tie some of those ideas together. And then students who are uh, studying other majors but have enjoyed singing in the past and would like to keep that as a part of their lives. And so it's one of the, the real blessings of being in a community college situation where you really have a wide variety of, of skill levels, of experience levels, of different personalities, and people really bringing different talents to the group. I was asked to be a guest clinician to come in and work with a couple of choirs uh, from the community, Houston Community College system, three different choirs, and we kind of all got together um, and we're performing three pieces. So my job is to come in, sort of get them excited about the music in a new way, and to sort of reinforce some of the ideas that they're already being taught by all of their, uh, their instructors, and uh, to hopefully sort of make a musical experience for them and for the audience, take it up an, an, another level. We're doing a, a hymn, and well, they're both hymns really, and we're doing a spiritual. And so we're doing three sacred pieces, uh, two of which are kind of up-tempo and, and really sort of joyful, and then this spiritual, which is about Samson and Delilah. When you're singing a spiritual, uh, there's a couple of things you have to keep in mind. You have to keep in mind the tone color that, that would be normally sung with. It's typically a richer, fuller sound. Um, and so getting the choir to sing that richer, fuller sound was really important. The other thing is, is that the, the different articulations and the crescendos and decrescendos are much more dramatic and much more dynamic than you would hear in something like a very simple hymn. I'm a brand new faculty member at Houston Community College and I work mostly at the Stafford campus where I direct the choir. We're also really looking to build up the choir program here at the Southwest campus so uh, that's a fun challenge for me as well to let people know that we have choirs here to sing in and that we're doing good things and that we have uh, some exciting opportunities for the students. Here at Stafford we uh, have a fine arts building that's separate from the rest of the campus and if you come on in we have a fine arts office here as well and they can direct you to the appropriate person if you would like to sing in choir or take voice lessons. Someone will point you in the right direction, get you to the person you need to talk to to get signed up for the class you're looking for. For more information about the HCC music program and concert schedules, visit the school's website at www.hccs.edu. For HCC Beat, I'm Phil Logan.